I'm a wanted felon. who you are. But just call me and let's talk about this. Please. Oh yeah, right. If weren't for you, I wouldn't be here. Hey, this is Monday morning and we're live. You're listening to Dr. Truth. Call me and let's talk about life. What's bugging you? Who's bugging you? There is no problem too small. And remember, all of our callers' voices are disguised, so this is a safe place to talk. Hello? Yeah, is this Sid's Pizza? No, it's not. Hey, Caitlin. Here, I think you should play this. The love, uh huh. Yeah, the band made a demo. Some guy from chemistry asked me to play this really bad CD that he made, and I said no. So, oh, this one rocks. Yeah, but if I play this, it'll look like I'm giving you special treatment. What? You know, because we share the same address. Oh, okay. Well, I have news for you. Bad hygiene doesn't need Dr. Truth. Dr. Truth is supposed to be helping people with their problems, not doing favors for friends. I mean, maybe I should have played Griffin's song. Nobody would have been hurt. But how can I help people figure out what's wrong or right if I'm doing something that I think is wrong? Check this out. I downloaded the band's email. These Japanese girls started the Brett Stevens fan club, dude. <laughs> Man, posting Della Vaha on your website was one of the best ideas you've ever had. I know, the band's getting international exposure. Hey, maybe I can get Akira to teach me Japanese so I can write to my fans. Well, you know, we gotta promote the whole band. Right, right. We gotta get people to hear music. I got it. We download really cool songs, and then we burn CDs with them. And on each CD, we put Bad Hygiene song. So we give kids a CD with top bands, but they end up listening to us? Exactly. And you know what? We sell the CDs. That's excellent. With the money, we can make a new demo. <laughs> hey, 
Hey. Hey, I figured you'd be out here. Wow. You never do this. What, did you smash up my truck or something? No. <laughs> no, but there's something I have to tell you. They just found out that a baby born at the High River Hospital was mistakenly given to the wrong parents. Two babies switched at birth? That's awful. Yeah. They, uh, they know the identity of one of the boys, but they still can't identify the other one. Can you imagine how shocking that would be to find out that your child is not really your child? Honey, this happened 16 years ago. In February. Between the 5th and the 7th. Griff was born on the 6th. He was born in our car. They took him away from us as soon as we got to the hospital. I don't remember seeing them put an identification bracelet on him. Did you? No. But we have to get DNA tests done. That'll prove that Griffin really is ours. H how many other babies were born on those days? Four. Hey, Kaylin. Check out these great compilation CDs. Breaking up. Yeah, all the songs are about breaking up. <laughs> you included the love, uh-huh. Only the greatest breakup song of all time. <laughs> but if you're not into breaking up, we got Ricky, Enrique, and Mark Anthony. And you downloaded these songs from the net? Yeah, sound quality is great. You included the love, uh-huh, the Latino CD. Yeah, it's Caliente. Okay, so you're using really hot bands to push your music. Isn't that brilliant? And it only costs you seven bucks. But the songs didn't cost you anything. Griffin and I have to charge for the time it took and the CDs and... Okay, so you're charging for music that you got for free to promote your song. Just give me one more. I don't You guys want to hear a great CD? You're listening to Dr. Truth, and this is a phone-in show. So, phone in. Hello? Hey, Sid, I'll have a meeting with uh, extra anchovies. Why don't you get a life? Speaking of life. No, uh, if you're like 99.9% .9 of the population, your life can be pretty messed up. So let's talk about it. <laughs> Okay, fine. If you guys have nothing to talk about, then I do. You know, today some guy tried to sell me a CD for seven bucks. It's a pretty good price. Except for him and his friend were downloading the songs off the internet for free. Think this is wrong? Boku wa basketa pureida sogataga nainda. Do you want it to say I'm invisible and I play basketball? No, I want it to say I'm tall and I play basketball. Do you think this is wrong? I do. I mean, they're stealing someone else's music, taking something that doesn't belong to them. No, it's. It's exactly the same as breaking into a record store and stealing a CD. Oh man, I do believe it. Kayla's dissing us on our show. What's your phone, Akira? Dr. Truth. Yeah, hey, uh, first of all, you're wrong. Compilation CDs are all about people swapping music. Yeah, but you're not swapping them if you're selling them. The minimal cost we charge is to cover the time it takes to download the songs from the net. Tell her kids are paying us for a good taste. We're like DJs, We're just giving out samples we think kids will like. Okay, but by copying these songs, it means that the kids don't have to buy the CDs. You're ripping off artists. You're wrong. We're in a band ourselves. Do you know it's something like like 2% of all musicians have record contracts? So how to hot... Young musicians get their music heard through the net. All right. Thanks for calling in. Uh, no, uh, no, we're not finished. I want other opinions. 
Oh, wait till we get on. So, do you think that downloading and selling music is right or wrong? Give us your opinions. Call 555-0100. Coffee smells good. I uh, got Griff to swab his throat for this DNA test. Did he ask you why? Yeah, I said that uh, the doctor needed to have it on file. You know, I, I, I feel really uncomfortable lying to him. Jim, maybe we should just tell him. Look, we'll know in two days. He doesn't even look like either one of us. He's got your brains and my... charm. Mm. Mm. Hello? Oh, hi, Ken. How are you? Yes, he is. It's Principal Pettigrew for you. Hi, Ken. Mm-hmm. Really? Okay, I'll be right over. Eleven. It's play 21. How much humiliation do you think I can take? I beat you every time, man. No, I'm not just talking about you. I mean, Caitlin. Because of her stupid show, a kid stopped me in the hall today and said I was a rip-off artist. This is helping us, man. What do you mean? I've sold 30 CDs since you started this whole debate. Really? Yeah. So that means if we keep this subject hot... We'll keep selling our big hit. <laughs> Duh, I, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's, that love, uh-huh. Japanese. Japanese. I don't think I want her as a girlfriend anymore. Yeah, well, uh, if you can't trust her, I think you're right. Dr. Truth, you're on the air. I don't agree with what you said yesterday. Oh, yeah? What's that? That selling music from the net is wrong? Why not? CD sales are from last year. That means that artists probably these out from last year. I'm on the air. I know. Selling compilation CDs isn't having any effect on a musician's income. Um, I'm kind of busy right now. But thanks for calling. Wait, I, I have something to say. You are going to be so sorry. I've been listening to the show. Oh, yeah? Do you like it? Principal Pettigrew asked me to investigate. Investigate what? Some kids at the school have been downloading songs from the net and selling them. Yeah, so? It's a copyright violation and a federal crime. You're kidding. Look, I don't know who's selling the CDs. Are you sure? Every caller's voice on the show is disguised. Caitlin, these kids are committing a crime. You know, I really have to get back to the show. I'm very disappointed in you, Caitlin. But my investigation still has to go ahead. What do you mean? Your show is taped. I want to take the cassette and review all the phone calls. Fine. But I'm telling you, all the voices are disguised. Thank you. You know, when wrestlers steal cattle, ranchers lose money, people get hurt. Yeah, and you catch them, and you make the world a better place. Yeah, is it really going to be a better place if I charge a couple of kids who sell our internet songs? Mm, thanks, Akira. What, you don't think they're doing anything wrong? Well, thanks. A few multimillionaire rock stars might lose a few bucks, but I've got no choice. If I find these kids, I'm going to have to make an example of them. Five more sales, we have enough for a demo. <laughs> Your father is a uh, uh, catch you. Kare wa dare ka ga uta utteru koto wa shitteru nda. Selling songs, your father knows. My dad knows. Knows? Pettigrew called him. I guess what you're doing is a federal crime. Oh, man. And he took the tape from the show. What? 
Why'd you let him? I couldn't stop him. Look, he can't identify you, so don't worry. Your voice is disguised. Yes, he can. Remember when I called the show and you cut me off? I said, wait till we get home. He'll know it's me. And the feds, come on. They go nuts over computer crime. Remember that hacker? He got four years in jail. Well, then we have to get the tape back. No, no, I don't need your help. You wanted me to get caught all along. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Because it would prove you're right, Dr. Truth. The tape is in his briefcase. He, he and Dory are in the barn. Briefcase. Where is it? Look, just don't worry. Everything's gonna be all right. Yeah, and what if he's not our son? Honey, Griffin is our son. Yeah, well, if that DNA test shows that he's not, I am not giving him up. Well, I've looked everywhere for Griffin. He's gone. What do you mean he's gone? His closet door was open, some of his clothes are missing, and so is his suitcase. His suitcase? This is all my fault. Caitlin, why would you say that? Uh... Uh, we had a fight. Well, maybe that wasn't what it was. Jim, what if he found out? Found out what? Two babies got switched at birth at the High River County Hospital 16 years ago. And one of them was Griffin? Well, we don't know that. They're doing DNA testing now. <laughs> well, that's probably why he ran away. Who am I? Whoever I am. I'm a wanted felon. Know who you are. But uh, just call me and let's talk about this. Please. Oh, yeah, right. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here. Everyone is really worried about you. Your parents are going crazy. But I promise you, everything is going to be okay. Now I'd like to play a very special song. I'm sorry, that's not the song I wanted to play. Here at High River High Radio, we promise you the edge and we deliver the edge. <laughs> Dr. Truth. Hey, I like that song. It was edgy. Ba Bad Hygiene is a great band. I knew you'd call. What do you know about edgy anyway? Griffin? Thank <laughs> you. 
What are you doing here? You gotta come home. How do you know it's my home? Nobody knows who I am. I just leave me alone. It's bad enough my identity's been stolen, but now, because of you, Dad's gonna bust me. No, he's not. This is the only way he can find out that it was you. When he asks where the cassette is, I'll just tell him that I took it and destroyed it to save the show. You will? He's really gonna punish you. I know. Do you know what? You should. I mean, you started this whole thing to get better ratings on your show. Yeah, but Brett told me that you guys continued this whole thing to get more exposure for your song. Yeah, so? Griffin? The cassette. How'd you guys find us? I'm the sheriff. Honey. Oh, come home. My home, do you mean? Yep. He's your son? <laughs> you bet he is. <laughs> oh. DNA doesn't lie. I don't know. I don't really see a family resemblance. <laughs> I just found out that due to some excellent sheriffing in this town, the kids downloading and selling the music from the internet have been stopped. But now, I'd like to pass the mic over to Bad Hygiene. Okay, uh, this song is actually dedicated to our English-speaking and Japanese-speaking fans. Duh, love, aha, uh -huh. I'm so over you. Duh, I, uh uh, I'm Tony Oshima. Duh, love, aha, uh -huh. you won't hurt me no more. Duh, I, uh uh, tada. I thought I had it all figured out. The difference between what's right and what's wrong. I knew what Griffin and Brett were doing was wrong, but I couldn't see the bigger truth. That I was using their crime to get people to listen to the show. And that was just as wrong, in a completely different way. It's just for a guy in the 11th grade. grade. Duh. Duh. Love. 